Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, as you can see, it's Saturday and it's just eight days into my braid up and they're completely out. So we gotta take them out because they look awful. Dana, can you take them out for me? <laughs> Wait till you see what this hair looks like ow, when it's taken out. Ow, oh, that actually hurts. Ooh. Look at how stringy it is. <laughs> it's actually amazing. You gotta take the bottoms out too. Oh, I thought you did yeah, that. Yeah, no, I didn't take the elastic, so. Ah. There you go. Holy. Oh my god, I thought that piece of hair sticking out of that was mine. Ripped out. So much gel in here. They're all out. <laughs> it's like completely out in the middle. Oh my gosh. Like, what <laughs> the heck? Holy, thank you. What is this? <laughs> That's so post fing brain off. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, what do you do with this, man? And I gotta go for a jog right now. My cousin's coming over. So yeah, my cousin's coming over and we're going for a jog, 5K, and then we're gonna work out together. And yeah, it helps because my legs are beat from Friday's workout. So jogging beside someone's gonna be a lot easier. And then upper body and core workout. So let's get after it. <laughs> jog complete, 5K on a Saturday. The boys are grinding, you know? We don't take days off here. Grinding. Wow, you look good. I take these off. Wow, like, you look really good. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Sharks Hockey, Woo! eh? <laughs> Let's go. Sweaty. Grinding. And Selena. She didn't run, but. Let's go, baby. No days off, baby. Let's go. What time are you guys coming, though? <laughs> Planning for the party after a work day. We ran, now we gotta work out. Look gas. <laughs> That's a good run. Wow, look at that sweat. Yeah, you guys can get on camera, but I smashed them. Smash them in the time. <laughs> and just like that, my hair is back to its normal. Guys, look at this breakfast. <laughs> oh, it's always breakfast. Look. <laughs> Guys, that Italian talking by breakfast, those are my grandparents' beauties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, a um, couple new updates that I'm really excited to share with you. First is, I got new glasses. Oh, with one hand. Oh, yes, there they are. Tom Ford's, baby. They're for like reading, going on the computer, doing a little bit of editing, night driving, and stuff like that. Um, I think they're pretty stylish. Let me know what you guys think. Before I get into update number two, this is the book I'm currently reading. David Goggins, Can't Hurt Me. I know I said I was gonna read this a while ago, but uh, a little bit of a delay on that. Update number two, a package came in the mail today. Let's go, let's see what it is. Oh, oh, oh. Harold. Hockey Diversity Alliance, let's open this up. Oh yeah, let's go, there he is. Gainer, that's the teammate right there, and the rest of the fellas. Nice little sweater. Wow, that's nice. It's nice, Hockey Diversity Alliance. Supporting my teammate, Kaner, and the cause, you know? But yeah, here you guys have it. New sweater, new look right now. Hope you guys like it. Uh, go check out these sweaters. Link will be in the description. Go check out the whole Hockey Diversity Alliance. Good stuff. Update number three, big one. Doing a challenge for myself. It's a known fitness thing uh, for endurance. And I'm gonna do it, and it's coming up. So stay tuned, I don't wanna give up too much. That's all I'm telling you. Ciao. Hey guys, headband looked his back, and uh, we got ribs. My mom made ribs today, so let's check them out. It was actually her request that I show you guys. <laughs> wow, it's actually to perfection. Cut perfectly. I'll have uh, two or three of those, two or three racks, for sure. What do you gotta do now? Put them in the oven? Just to kind of sizzle the, uh, the bake on the, uh, my... Huh? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Explain. My basting here. Yeah, I warm it up kind of. I gotta go on the ice in less than two hours and I'm gonna eat a lot of ribs, so I might be a little slow today. Yeah, put them on the bottom rack. Let them sizzle up a little bit. And that just looks boring. It's arenas. That's her boring <laughs> food. She can have that. Yee-hoo! Yummy. Let's go. 
What are you doing down there? There he is. Oh, that was a struggle. That was. <laughs> Guys, my cousin's back. This is Anthony. Anthony Salvas. He's not great in front of the camera. He gets a little shy. No, I'm not shy. So is catch me when I'm either eating or I'm talking about you. Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Just finished his book and it was one of the best books that I've ever read. You don't know, I attempted and completed successfully David Goggins 4x4x48 challenge during this quarantine. The book taught me a lot of things even after I completed that challenge. So if you don't know who David Goggins is, look him up. I've already talked about him in previous videos. He's a beast. He's accomplished many physical accomplishments, ultra marathons, 100 milers, 200 milers. He held the world record for chin-ups at one point in his life. He is a beast. So what this book taught me is all the things that he's worked towards, all the pain that he put himself through to run those marathons or to accomplish those chin-ups. It just talks about how much struggle he goes through physically, you know, putting his body through those things. And it also explains why he did those things. And he did those things to make himself more mentally tough. It was never about being a better athlete or being stronger, or being in physically better shape. He put himself through that pain to accomplish those things, to be more mentally hard, to be strong. And I find that that's a really good point, especially given the circumstances that we're all going through right now in our life. You know, it's, it's COVID season, 2020 has been a tough year for a lot of people um, and everyone, rightfully so. It, it has been very, very tough. And these are times that, you know, you can make a difference by telling yourself that, you know, you'll get through this. And, and that's the kind of thing that David Goggins tells himself when he's training when he's running marathons or he's doing chin-ups and he's struggling, he's telling himself that he's gonna get through this. He's talking to himself in a positive way. So yeah, that's just something I wanna talk about this book. I think it's a really good point that I learned a lot from. I'm a, I'm a different person after reading it than I was before reading it. Your mind can dictate how you feel physically, not just mentally. And um, that's what he proves. And you can, you can pass your own expectations by being mentally tough and by putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and challenging yourself. You should do that every day. I hope everybody's well. I know it's been a long, long 2020 so far, but hey, we're getting through it. All the best to all those who have been through tough times through these tough times. Um, I hope everyone who's been well continues to stay well. And uh, I wanna thank you guys, my audience, for supporting this channel, for showing it the love and the support it means a lot to me it helps me get through times like these can't thank you enough can't thank you enough like at the end of the day i make these videos not only because i love it but because i want to give back to you guys all right enough of that though we're getting into the questions to end off this video do i work out even if it's 105 outside if i gotta get it done then yeah i'm doing it <laughs> letter kenny or Shits creek I haven't seen either of them so Sorry, I can't answer that. Do people ever recognize me when I'm out in public? Not very often at all, no. Did I ever get that rookie treatment of going out in warm-ups on the ice by myself doing a lap alone? Yes, but not on my first game of the season. I actually did it when I played in Toronto. I'm from Toronto, a lot of my family was there. My teammates gave me the privilege to do that in Toronto, which is pretty cool. What editor do I use? DaVinci Resolve. Right there. What kind of music is on my workout playlist? Really all kinds, but mostly hip hop and like rap and stuff. What teammate have I kept in contact the most during the off season? I would say Jumbo. I went to go see him for about five days or so when he came up to his hometown in Canada. That's been it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, leave a like. If you wanna see more, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe, yeah. Uh, ciao. Shmai later. One time I went over, it was like probably oh. like a Wednesday. That was just it was probably like Buddy. a Wednesday midday. <laughs> Careful. <laughs>